What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for my next model build. That's right. We're going to build this awesome model. Let's get it started. All right, so I've got the work table cleaned off and uh, the time has come. I'm not going to go over a lot when it comes to this because I did a previous video where we took out all the bags and we looked at everything because there's a lot of pieces with this. We actually have 3,299 pieces in this model field. Uh, this actually comes from Block Zone. And uh, yeah. I'm thoroughly impressed with Block Zone. So, uh, yeah, I'll definitely have links to everything uh, for their website and all this other uh, information, social media, and stuff like that in the video. Uh, the boxes themselves, we have an A box and we have a B box. So, uh, the B box, B box, is going to go over here for now. And uh, we're going to start pulling some stuff out. Let's uh, see. You know what? Let's just get it all out. I said it in the, um, the previous video that I did, how much I really appreciated uh, the packaging and, and everything with this. Uh, the manual. Everything, everything about this is just so cool. Got tons of illustrations as far as the manual goes. Uh, this is an actual uh, radio controlled car. So uh, yeah, that's going to be cool. All right, so bag six, five, four, three, two and one right here. Um, lots of time lapse. This is going to be a time lapse uh, video. This is going to be a long, uh, a long build. It's going to be the biggest build that I've ever done. Uh, but before we actually uh, get things, you know, into the time lapses, we'll talk a little bit about it and see uh, see how things are, and we'll go from there. So. Yeah, first things first. Um, it looks like, huh? It almost looks like the uh, the motors and stuff actually go together first. So uh, yeah, let's take a look here. Uh, like I was saying um, in the previous video, this is this is going to be one of my more complex builds. And I'm really excited for it because this is such a beautiful uh, model. Beautiful, uh, beautiful model. Uh, so the engines, controllers, and all that good stuff. Uh, we also have a Phillips head. This here looks like it's uh, going to be the battery bank. And it looks like it's actually rechargeable. I actually have a, a micro USB connection right there. Check out this little this little remote control. This is so this is so cool. This is cool. Uh, we also have the individual looks like motors. Uh, looks like we've got three of those. So let's uh, let's get some of these opened up. Because again, the, the first things I'm seeing with the instructions, it's it's showing these. All right, so right there, got the uh, Lego block, um, or excuse me, the uh, the brick mount right there. Hmm. I've never I've never dealt with any of these, so uh, this is going to be. Very, very interesting. I've never done anything with uh, uh, block models that had to do with any kind of motors or anything like that. So 
this is a whole new experience for me. But uh, yeah, there we go. Um, so it looks like uh, we also got some stickers that goes on these, it looks like. I'm looking for, okay. So I've got the, uh, let me look here real quick. I stuck the stickers in the middle of the book so I wouldn't, uh, so I wouldn't lose them. There they are. Boom. We got stickers. Okay, so it looks like, okay. So you're actually putting, um, decals on the actual on the actual uh motors interesting very interesting i like that so we got two a motors um i'm looking for a i don't see it in this particular set uh yeah got to get the spectacles out because uh yeah, let's just say, uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so it looks like each motor, uh, we're gonna orientate it properly. And this is gonna get an A, this one right there. And there's also a little A goes down here. I've actually, uh, so it's, it's actually pretty rainy in my area. So, uh, I like doing, uh, block builds on rainy days. Um, I don't know about you guys, uh, you know, when you do them, but I personally prefer, uh, rainy days or just, you know, nasty days. Boom. All right. So, uh, A and A right there. Going to repeat that on this, uh, on this motor. Make sure I got it orientated correctly. Right there. I'm not too worried about these, uh, la uh labels being like perfect. Not like, a an aesthetic label would be, but the beauty of these is there's actually little uh, indentions. Like right here, there's actually a little uh, little box right there for you to put the label in. So that's a, that's a very nice touch. Okay, so we got the two A's. This here is the D. All right, looks like we're gonna do uh, couple of labels on that one. Okay. The little D looks like it's going to go on the connector. And again, I'm still looking, I haven't seen it yet. So it may be in another bag, uh, but there's a, uh, like a jumper, a jumper cable. Okay. Get that. Whoops. Come on, I got too much of this, the label on the blade. Um, okay. And then this one's gonna go right here. Like so. And the last one's gonna go right on the top. Okay, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward so far. Nothing, uh, Nothing too daunting. I'm sure there's going to be some daunting uh, pieces to this. Uh, but yeah, so got D, D, and D right there. Uh, we do have uh, some instructions here. I may go ahead and um, I may need to go ahead and charge up the, uh, the oh, that's the uh, uh, smart cr creative module. Oh, oh, all right then. Uh, that's what that is. Uh, and again, I do not see 
the uh, Y cable. So I'm going to press on. Hopefully, hopefully it's in here. <laughs> I'm hoping it is. All right, so now, oh, okay, so now it actually wants us to wire it up. Okay, okay, let me look here. See, this is where it's going to be, I think, a little difficult. Uh, we do have uh, A, B, C, and D uh, on the uh, little modules here. Oh, that's interesting. So it looks like the two A's actually connect together like so. Oh, and that's where that little, uh, that's where that little uh, jumper cable. Ah, okay. So I will have to actually have the jumper cable to, uh, to move forward, but I can go ahead and at least get the D module or the D connection plugged in. Oh, this is cool. All right. We have gone as far as we can go with that. So hopefully I'll be able to find it. All right. So bag one. Let me look through this real quick. Looks pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. So tell you what, let's get the uh, first time lapse going.
All right, everybody. So taking a little bit of a break. Um, yeah. <laughs> this right here is, I lost a coffee cup. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to talk more about this after this build is done. But uh, I just sort of wanted to, to be honest with you, just take a little bit of a break. This is by far the biggest block build I have ever done. Um, and it's so much different than any other block build kits. Um, yeah, I am thoroughly impressed. It is, uh, it's taken a lot, it's taken longer than I uh, anticipated. And I think a lot of that has to do with uh, these aluminum pieces which I think are amazing. Uh, but they do take a little bit more uh, finagling. So, but anyway, so we have bag seven, eight, and nine left. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I mean, I can see we're, we're at the home stretch and uh, getting ready to do some more seats and some more window panels. And yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's coming along. I promise it will get built. So, without further ado, let's get back to the time lapse. There she is, everybody. Boom! Got this bad boy all put together. Um, wow. My fingers... <laughs> my fingers are tender right now. Um, 3,299 pieces. 
Uh, everything that is purple is a anodized metal, which is just amazing on how well this thing looks. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's a, I have a whole new respect for these massive model builds. Um, yeah, the time lapse does not do it justice. Uh, but <laughs> it just, you know, uh, that's just the way it is. But I mean, this, this is just an amazing model. I actually learned a lot uh, when it came to putting this thing together. There's uh, lots of little nuances that I wasn't expecting. Um, I will tell you this, uh, this is not radio controlled right now because I never did find that splicer cable. So what I did was I just said, you know what? I'm not even gonna worry about it. I didn't even put none of the electronics in it uh, because hey, I'd have to like, take it apart to put the cable on. So I just figured, uh, let's just make it a static right now. Wheels turn and all that stuff, but I'm gonna reach out to the uh, block zone and, and get the cable and yeah. But honestly, I'm happy with it the way it is. Look at the detail on this thing. It's amazing. Uh, this, this technology of using uh, this metal is it just makes the you cannot you cannot get that color out of plastic you just can't uh, anodized uh, metal when you paint it it's very lightweight uh, if I had to guess it's probably aluminum uh, but yeah the tubing and all this uh, how to do the details and stuff that that's really really cool as well um, yeah the block zone. Their, their models are spot on, legit, awesome. Uh, when it comes to block builds, I'm uh, pretty safe to say that the block zone just became my number one go-to for just detail, uh, having the metal, all of the little nuances, uh, the size. I mean, this is eighth scale. Um, but yeah, we got the... Uh, the doors actually open here, so you can actually see the interior. We got bent seats. Uh, we also have a engine compartment that lifts up right there. So you got pistons and all the other stuff. You got some little cups in there. It's just, it's an awesome build. It's an awesome build, but it was definitely, um, I had to take some breaks. I had to take some breaks. Uh, altogether, I probably have about 10 to 12 hours in this build. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to step away a few times. Uh, I definitely had to use my glasses. Um, but some of the little things that uh, really stuck out with me is the disc brake and the brake. Uh, that's all separate pieces you put together, which is nice. Then you put the... Um, cover over of it but to be able to see the red brake caliper i think is a nice touch um the uh, engine compartment has rubber belts which uh, i like that as well it's just the actual storage uh container up here um, it's just it's cool it's really really cool uh, but I'll, I'll definitely leave links to the block zone and everything in the description of the video. Uh, definitely check them out. They have tons, tons of models. Uh, cars, architecture, military, construction, uh, you name it, they've got it. Their prices are really, really great. So definitely check out, uh, read the description and I'll have links and everything um, from a perspective of uh, the manual and all that goes. Um, I had to read it a couple of times because there's an RC section and a non RC section, which I like that. And it's very well worded. It's very well drawn. There's no issues at all with the uh, instruction manual. Um, so yeah, this, like I said, I've never worked with aluminum pieces. Um, 
So yeah, they uh, they go together snug. And there's all kinds of little aluminum pieces, uh, not just the big panels, but you got little connectors and things like that. So uh, yeah, if I had to pick one thing that I think was the most challenging on this build was mounting the roof to the chassis. That one, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's 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 a it's a labor of love. I'm telling you that because there's all these little uh, connectors and they they pivot. So what I had to do is actually do one side and then fold it up. Or there's they're hinged, uh, so they're not static connections. They move, which does make it easier. But when you have this big huge roof section. Uh, you definitely wish you had a couple of extra hands. Just saying. Yeah. It would have been nice to have, a, you know, like a Doc Ock thing going on. But anyway, guys, that's it for this build. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely got some photos of it. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this massive A-scale uh, van model build. Uh, I suggest get one. These big ones... That, I mean, look at it. I mean, it displays great. Um, yeah. But I want to know what you think about it, so definitely leave me a comment. Let me know uh, your thoughts. But, uh, guys, that's it. That's it for this build. Uh, yeah. I want to do another one now. I'm sort of digging the vehicles here. I've got my eye on a bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure. A bulldozer. Uh, but yeah, there's just something about it. I really enjoyed, uh, I've seen several that I like, so I'll definitely be reaching out to the folks over at the block zone and get some more heading this way. But, uh, I, I suggest give them a shot. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed in the quality, uh, the build process, the instructions, anything like that. It is spot on, legit, awesome. So, but anyway, guys. You let me know what you think. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, hey, if you enjoy my content, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure to turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I do more builds like this as well as other things related to my channel. Uh, like I said a while ago, definitely read the uh, description. Uh, click more address, social media, links to products, uh, websites, and things like that is where I put that. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I can't wait to do another one. And finally, please always remember, model building refreshes your soul. I'll see you next time. <laughs>